Uh, because of the early success of his field guide and then the success of other books that he wrote like Birds Over America and Wild America, uh, Roger had a big audience and he had a big impact on a lot of people. And it's really a fortunate thing, I think, for conservation that Roger was a generous person and he really cared about the conservation of natural resources. If you go back and look at his 1948 book, Birds Over America, it includes all sorts of concepts that weren't really discussed by most people until much later. I mean, that was, um, that was 14 years before the publication of Silent Spring by Rachel Carson, and Peterson was already talking about the potential dangers of DDT uh, in the 1940s. And he was talking about a lot of conservation issues that didn't get attention until much later by most people. And so rabid young bird watchers who were growing up in the 50s and 60s, uh, like me, um, we read all these things by Peterson and we just absorbed this idea that if you were interested in birds, you had to be a conservationist as well. Roger wasn't much for the confrontational type of environmental battle. He rarely went to testify before Congress or anything like that. But his support for conservation issues was really important. So he had a big influence that way.